Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're going to be talking about the next galaxy in Season 2, which is on galaxies. And that is called the Whirlpool. Now, not the Whirlpool, well, it is actually a Whirlpool, but not like the appliances where they make dishwashers and that. I'm talking about Galaxy 1. Now, I'm not sure where it is this, but I know it's somewhere out far from here. Ugh. Okay, so. Alright, the Whirlpool is very familiar to other two stargazers. And among the many close, like close, galaxy neighbors to our own Milky Way, what I just talked about, and the and the other previous videos, the other one, not season two, episode three, where I made on the Sabaro Galaxy. If you want to check that out, go to my channel. So, okay, because of its shape, of the whirlpool, it was the first galaxy to be classified as a spiral by astronomers. But guess what? Today, it's interest astronomers due to its spinal structure and the interaction it appears to be having with its near neighbor, M51b. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what M51b looks like, but... Well, also known as NGC5195. It's a dwarf galaxy. Near the Whirlpool one. Which is what I'm talking about today. Okay. Now, however, that's its destination, M51. Well, it's a type of spiral galaxy, so like... Starts right here and, and then that. Mm. The distance, um, approximately. Okay, so approximately twenty five million light years away. I'm not sure one hundred percent exactly in twenty five million light years, but I know it is around twenty five million light years. Its diameter is about seventy five thousand light years across. Hmm. That much? Really? It looks like it hadn't been too much as of the Milky Way. The Milky Way's diameter is... I can't think. Okay. About 220,000 light years. So, this is probably the smallest galaxy. I'm not sure if it's that or the Sombrero Galaxy. You know, the strange one. But its mass is approximately 160 billion suns. Compared to the Milky Way. Hmm. Well, I think that's a lot more, guys. A lot more. So, I guess I say the Whirlpool and the Milky Way have a big difference. Number one, Whirlpool is smaller. Number two... The Whirlpool, or, yeah, that's probably the only difference I had about it. The Milky Way is a lot bigger than the Whirlpool, so you guys may know that. Now, now the Whirlpool, Whirlpool, excuse me, was discovered in 1773 by Charles Messier, Messier, meant, who was charting the skies looking for objects. They might be confused with comets. You know, like those shooting stars. Well, yeah, comets. So, well. Okay, so, let me think now. About 72 years later, astronomer William Parsons observed the galaxy pair with his telescope at Burr Castle in Ireland and found the spiral structure of the whirlpool. How interesting is him? Going to Ireland, well, what you guys might know about Ireland? If you guys don't know where Ireland is, 
It's around in the UK, also known as United Kingdom. So, now the Whirlpool and its companion, M51B, have already passed by or through each other once as they dance through a cosmic merger. You know, like, here, and the thing gets on here. That's called merging. Now, the smaller galaxy has been severely disrupted by the encounters, and the whirlpool's spiral arms are disordered. So, I'm not sure. Well, that's what I know about. But, now, the next thing I'm going to talk about now is the Whirlpool Galaxy is undergoing huge bursts of starbirth due to its ongoing encounter with the smaller companion galaxy, M51b. So, that's probably what I know now. So, yeah. Okay, so now, the Whirlpool, like many other galaxies, try to guess, guys. You guys guess. If you guys are saying black hole, you're correct. Because guess what, guys? A black hole is just like at its heart. Hmm. Super massive. Now, I'm not sure how big it is, but I know the Milky Way is probably has the biggest black hole ever. In the record of space. Okay, so, surrounded by rings of dust. That's what the world was surrounded by. That's like all galaxies, guys. If you have watched season 2, you should probably already have known this. But the core of the galaxy is quite, quite, quite active. Very active. Making the whirlpool what astronomers call a safer galaxy. That's called an active, active galaxy. So, well, like I said a little bit ago, its companion is called M51b, a dwarf galaxy. Because it's being torn apart by the ongoing interaction, it cannot be easily classified. So, it can be classified very easy. It had to be smart astronomer in order to do this. Now, I'm not quite smart astronomer at all, but I do know a little bit about space. What you guys use for astronomers, if you guys are looking forward to be an astronomer, you have to know a lot of astronomy to use a tool called an astrolabe. Okay, so, and plus you also have to use the famous element, telescopes, to look out for new planets. But, I'm sure that'll happen in the future, but, who knows? Who knows what happened in the future? Maybe new stuff in the universe will come out and be looking like a new galaxy, new planet. So, we'll find out in the future when I'm an adult. We're not sure. But, all I know of is what's going to be happening. New asteroids are going to be coming out. And people in California, everywhere in the world, are trying to find it. So, okay. I know. So. Now, I got one more thing to tell you guys. Right before I talk about the breast. So. Make sure you know astronomy, guys. If you guys go to school, make sure you know astronomy. Is astronomy is number one if you're learning space. They tell which position is the moon. Alright? On a specific day. Alright, so now a bridge of gas and dust ties the two galaxies together as they merge. Like, for example, Gas is one minor interstate, and dust is the major interstate. I make a reference to interstates. As I've been on interstates for a long time now, since I was a baby. Which is about 12 years ago. 
Now, I'm not trying to tell you my age, but that's how I am. So, okay. This is dust. This is gas. They merge, and it becomes dust. That's what holds the two galaxies together. Like, for example, moon and earth are two planets together. Who knows what happened in the future? Who knows what happens in the future? Okay, guys. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe. I need subscribers in my life. Thanks for watching. Take care.